hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be all about my simple minimalist habits. These habits have completely changed my life and so has minimalism and I truly truly believe that minimalism is way more than just decluttering and that it can go into all aspects of life. So today I really hope this video shares with you how I implement minimalism into my daily life. Is clean and minimal not only looks less cluttered, it makes you feel less cluttered too. I try and tidy as I go, that way things don't get too out of hand. Although I am only human and sometimes things do get a little bit crazy, in which case I just try and tidy up as soon as I feel motivated to, to give myself that really nice tidy space. I think the main thing is trying to figure out what you want to have on your surfaces so that way you know what you're aiming for when you do tidy up. Minimalism is also known for clean surfaces and surfaces with hardly any items and that's honestly the way that I love to live my life too, although I do enjoy implementing some decor pieces. I do think that the less things we have on our surfaces, the better it feels and the tidier the house will be. Houseplants are a great addition to any home. Not only do they add a beautiful natural look to your home, they also clean the air and make your house just look really, really tidy and really minimal. They add a little bit of deco without actually adding anything really to the house. So I feel eyes rolling on this one, but making your bed is such a simple thing. But it completely changes the energy in the room and makes it so much tidier without much effort at all. I like to think that if my bed is put together, then so am I. <laughs> Starting my day with a small win like this one always sets me off to a good start. And then again, when you come home from work or from being away from your home and you look inside of that room, even if the rest of the room is crazy, at least that bed is made and it looks tidy. Taking time for yourself is often overlooked in the busy world that we live in these days. So try and slow down whenever you can. Find little pockets of time that you can be without your phone and just enjoy living in the moment. Listen to the birds, drink a coffee, go for a walk or read a book. Minimalism is all about being intentional and I like to think we can all be a bit more intentional with our time and in return our lives. Checking in with yourself is key when starting on the minimalist path. When buying something, ask yourself, am I impulse buying? Do I need this? Do I feel emotional and think that this will make me happy? Do I have something that already has the same purpose? Questions like these will really help to stop you from bringing unnecessary items into your space. So I've mentioned this one often in my videos, but I really want to put a lot of stress on this one because it's often overlooked. But when buying something, whether it's new or already used, check to see what the item's made of, check to see how it was made and how good the quality is because all of those things are going to impact how you use this item and how long you're going to be able to use this for until you have to replace it again. A lot of society prefer to buy cheap things over expensive things because initially it works out better for us because we have to spend less money at first but what happens is over time the item breaks down and so you have to maybe replace it two or three times in the time that you would have only replaced the other item once if at all. Go through your belongings every six months and see what you no longer use. Checking in with your items frequently like this really helps you to be intentional and to use those items to their full potential and it avoids you holding on to excess clutter that you really don't need in life. If you have a junk drawer, go through it every few weeks until it's no longer a junk drawer. Start small and don't overwhelm yourself. Any progress is good progress and you don't have to declutter all in one day. So this is a simple one, yet often so overlooked in our society. Did you know that most of society is actually in a chronic state of dehydration and most of us have no idea? It's said that by the time you feel thirsty, you're actually already dehydrated. And I do believe that thirst actually plays a huge part in how we feel. And I also think this links to minimalism because the purchases and way we live our life is often correlated to how we feel throughout the day. So I believe that staying hydrated leads to better choices in the long run, meaning that you don't bring extra clutter into your life and that you can just live a happier and more fulfilled life and you're also hydrated. So that was my simple minimalist habits. What minimalist habits do you have? I would love to hear, so leave those comments below. I really hope this video inspired you to have a look at your own life and to reflect on any habits that you could bring into your life that you didn't have before on your journey towards minimalism. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe for more content about minimalism and simple living. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.